Hey YouTube, welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. Mr. Terry is a continuous search for historical knowledge found here on the internet. All right, today's video comes from our awesome patrons and they voted on this video this week. And that is the U-boat sunk by a toilet flush. All right, this is by Simple History, a channel favorite here. What a name of a story. If that isn't an attention getter, I don't know what else is. So, what? <laughs> All right, we're going to check this one out, let you know what I think. Um, if you would like to vote in future videos, patrons of all levels starting a dollar a month um, can, can vote in the polls. You get a bunch of other stuff too. Check that out if you're interested. Um, links to some other stuff down below as well, including the original video link. Make sure you support uh, Simple History. If you haven't subbed to them, you're definitely going to want to. They got all kinds of awesome historical stories like this, and uh, I highly, highly suggest it. All right, let's get started. Warships. The game is free to play with the perfect well, the warships is cool. action and strategy. You can come they sponsored our channel before. Featuring some of history's most iconic Definitely check them out. Actually, our first sponsor ever was World of you can unlock new ships and dominate the ocean so with check it out. 30 million players worldwide. Experience combat in weather effects that make each engagement unique and challenge the tactics of battle. In World of Warships, each in-game ship is faithfully recreated using 3D scans of the real-life version. You can customize it to your design. World of Warships is constantly updating the game, so there's something new to experience with a steady cadence of new missions, game updates, and events. There are over 200 ships available to play across 11 different nations, and submarines will be coming soon. Use our exclusive code below and get two free ships, the St. Louis and the premium well, uh, where is ship that? I don't know of a place that looks like that. World of Warships did I miss out on a war? Bonus starter pack. Maybe New I did. Players can register with the code BOOM to receive 200 doubloons, 2.5 million boom. credits, the two free ships, the St. Louis and the premium ship Emden, seven days of premium time and more. All right. The U-boat sunk by a toilet flush. Oh gosh. Strange <laughs> stories of World War II. Craig's, Craig's Marine Monthly. On the morning of April 14, 1945, U-1206, 1206. one of the last German U-boats to be commissioned, was cruising at a depth of 200 feet. Well, I was about to say 1945, that means this is the last year of the war. One of the last to be commissioned. So the war in Europe's going to end in April. Um, well, technically beginning of May. So this is very, very end of the war just off the coast of Scotland, about 8 to 10 miles from Peterhead in Aberdeenshire. The submarine was on its first Peterhead. combat patrol and had launched just eight days prior to this from the Nazi-occupied Port Christiansund in Norway, under the command of 27-year-old Captain Lieutenant Carl Adolf Schlitt. The crew's mission was to seek out and destroy American and British convoys in the North Atlantic. You don't, uh... I feel like we haven't had an Adolf since World War II. Anyone know if there had been any Adolfs born since World War II? Because there's a few handful before. Has anyone ever been named that afterwards? They had been experiencing a few difficulties, such as the U-boat's diesel engines not operating correctly, forcing it to run on battery power. So the crew were busy making repairs. What happened next can arguably be considered one of the strangest demises for a vessel in naval history. All right, what? To fully appreciate the story, a little information on the complexity of submarine toilets True. is necessary. High external pressure when the vessel is submerged means that waste can't just be dumped into the sea. British submarines of the time got around this problem by having septic tanks on board. Sure, but these came sense. with their own set of problems, taking up precious space and adding weight. Right. The Germans opted for a different method, All one right. that could expel waste directly. Unfortunately, this only worked while they were either close to or at the surface. I mean, guys, this is this is why we are all history fans. This this is the stuff we want to know. I mean, this is the stuff we study for. It's people like me went to college and, and became professional teachers. It's we're, we're finally getting to the big important questions. How did submarines handle poop? This meant that during a deep dive, the crew of a U-boat had no working toilet Dude, and were forced face. to relieve themselves in open buckets. Despite the obvious unpleasantness, World War II submarines were not known for their delightful aromas, even at the oh, best of times. However, this wasn't too much of a problem during the early stages of the war. 
The Allies' ability to spot and hunt down U-boats was not particularly effective at this time, meaning that the vessels could surface regularly. Right. As the war progressed, this began to change, and the U-boats were forced to spend increasing amounts of time submerged in order to avoid detection. Yeah, you can't you can't be um, submerged forever. You eventually have to come up. Um, I know World War One that was a lot harder. You know, World War Two the uh, submarines are so much better um, than they were early on, and they were dangerous like that. I even said, you know, it's, it's World War Two that engine problems and things. I know in World War One, I, I mean, a sub submarine was one of the most deadly places you could be. It's like just in an underwater coffin for the most part. The toilet situation had to change. To solve the problem, the Germans developed a new high-pressure toilet system, which could be used at depth. Unfortunately, the system was extremely complicated to use <laughs> and required specialist training. First, the... <laughs> okay, you're, you're getting into the military. You're like, I'm joining the military for my country. Maybe you got drafted, but you're like, I joined the military. I will serve my country in whatever capacity they want me in. And you go and you do your basic training all that stuff and then you're 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 off the front lines and then your commander tells you all right private we have a special job for you you will learn the mechanics and operate the toilet and the poop removal system okay take your oath now toilet directed human waste through a series of chambers to a pressurized airlock then the deep water high pressure toilet blasted the human waste into the sea with compressed air, like a poop torpedo. Oh, a specialist on each that. boat received training on proper toilet operating procedures. <laughs> there was an exact order Private for poops. opening and closing a series of valves Private to poops. ensure that the flush Reporting operated for duty. correctly. This officially trained in how to flush the toilet specialist was called a WC waste disposal unit manager. Oh, that's not cool. It was also known among the crew as the man okay that that's what i want i don't even want i don't even want any other name and i hope he wore a name tag had a had a poop emoji medal like he needs to be he he, he yeah he, he needs to display that back to the morning of april 14th and the ill-fated u-1206 it should be noted that there are actually two versions of the events that unfolded that day oh, yeah. the first of these comes in the form of captain schlitz official report he claims that he was in the engine See, room. See, I think, I think Captain Schlitz, that he should be in charge of the poop duty. Schlitz. was told that there was a leak coming from the front of the boat, and that he later learned a mechanic had attempted to fix the outboard vent of the forward toilet, which had ultimately failed. The second, and by far the most popular version of events, goes as follows. <laughs> a submariner, according to most accounts, Captain Schlitt himself, had to answer a call of nature, and when he was done with his business, attempted to use the complicated flushing mechanism by oh, himself. No. no. When he was Okay, not anybody can run this system. I mean, you took it took training, okay? Like you went to a private poop camp to operate this. Not just any Okay, member of the Kriegsmarine is is gonna be able to handle this. Unable to make the flush work, he called in the specialist who, unfortunately, misjudged the situation and failed to operate the valves in the correct the order. The uh, poop ratio Whichever is too Whichever version high. of the story is true. The, the, the poop to water ratio is too high for the, uh, the, the settings. The end results were the same. A failure in the toilet system resulted in sewage and seawater flooding into the vessel in such large quantities that it came into contact with the submarine's batteries, which were located just below the toilet causing a chemical reaction which released deadly chlorine gas into the air. And to make the situation worse, gas. the U-boat's bilge pumps malfunctioned. Despite their proximity to the coast and the likelihood of being spotted, Hello, the coast. situation had become Hello. dire enough that Captain Schlitt was forced Head to level. order the U-boat to surface in the hope that oh, they could no. successfully vent the gas. Unfortunately for the captain and his men, this was not to be. They very soon came under attack by the RAF, who were able to they do enough spotted. damage that the U-boat was utterly disabled. Unable to either dive or maneuver, All and realizing of the, poop. the situation had become hopeless, Captain Schlitt threw his code books overboard. In order do, you think, do you think the British would have gone easy on him if they had known what caused it? Like, they could kind of feel for him, and then they might let him go? U-1206 to be scuppered. Out of the U-boat's crew of 50 men, four didn't survive the incident. 
One man lost his life during the RAF attack, oh. and the other three as they attempted to make their way to the oh. Scottish coast. I thought they were going to say the other one actually died of methane poisoning or something. The remaining 46 crew members were captured and held as POWs for the rest of the war. Oh. This didn't prove to be very long, as just 16 yeah. days later, Adolf right. Hitler committed suicide in his bunker in Berlin. Yeah. And eight days after that, the Nazis surrendered, bringing an end to the war in Europe. As for Captain Schlitt, he survived the war and passed away in 2009 <laughs> at the age of 90. U-1206, however, well, still for. rests at the bottom of the North Sea. Full of poop. Full of poop. This episode was brought... All right, so I bet you didn't know poop made such an impact in the war, or in any war. The power of poop. All right, well, yeah, um... <laughs> wild story there ship ends up getting sunk before it uh for their malfunction in the poop system and i want to know like what the pro they didn't really say what the problem was why did they have such a hard time dealing with that one poop did that guy because he ended up living a long time did did he just try to keep it under wraps that he, he actually like clogged the toilet because he had he had such a bowel movement that it it ruined the, the this the systems or ruined the whole u-boats poop system i I'm, i think that's what it is i think we need to investigate this more so let's get uh, some historians some professional researchers let's get on that um chat if you have any access to these documents um youtube viewers chatters all that let's let's get to it okay stop what you're doing whatever other research you're doing and we need to find out what happened specifically with this uh uh with this incident Okay, because like they said, and like we say, those that don't learn from the past are doomed to repeat it. And we don't we don't want this to happen again. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thanks for uh, checking this video out. The original video link is down below. If you haven't subbed my channel and you've stuck around this long, thank you. Uh, definitely hit that sub button. Like the video. I told that really helps uh, promote the channel and the algorithms and all that stuff. So if that's the case. Great. Again, this video was voted on um, by our patrons over at Patreon. There's a link down below. You can check that out. If you're into some gaming stuff, they're promoting some games in the video. Check out my gaming channel on YouTube and Twitch. On YouTube, it's Mr. Terry Gaming. Twitch, it's Mr. Terry History. There's some links down below. Join our Discord server, all that fun stuff. All right, and with that, we'll see you next time. Bye.